Hello. Uh, in this video, I want to give an overview of uh, how the uh, front page, a custom front page in Genesis uh, is going to look like and how it works. So this particular front page has uh, content coming in from three places. And of course, these, these are optional in the sense that if you do not like the content to come in from a particular source, uh, you can just turn off or remove that code from frontpage.php so for example uh, this particular section that you see is coming from the uh, wordpress editor in the back end so currently I have created a page called home and I have put some text in here and at settings and reading I have set that to be the front page like that so the content of that page is what is appearing here. Now this is a full width section and uh, the actual content is inside a wrap. So that wrap has a max width. And then this particular uh, section that you see the second section in this case is a um, widget area. So if you take a look at appearance and widgets, I have created a home featured widget area in that I have placed a text widget. So the content of this particular uh, text widget is appearing here. And this third section that you see is coming from advanced custom fields, uh, pro versions, flexible content field. So if you edit this page, You can see that uh, I have all these particular uh, rows. I have currently four rows, a text section, image section, text and image. So that's what you see here. This is the text, image, text and image. Now I can rearrange them however I want. For example, I can move it like this. So now the two text sections are like this. And if I just update the page, So you can see that we have the uh, text sections here and then below that the two image rows. And I'm going to just move this back. And we can also add more uh, sections or more rows by clicking this button and then selecting whether you want a text section or image section to appear. So let's say I want a text section here. Uh, this is another text pro. And let's say I want to add an image row. So I can do that. You can select an image and update. So you can see that uh, the new text and the image section that we have added are here on the page. So let me just go ahead and delete them to keep things simple. So delete that, delete that, update. Uh, let's take a look at the HTML structure of the generated output. So here we have the site container, the entire content is inside site container and then the site header, the nav primary, the site inner. So all the actual content is uh, contained inside the site inner and in that each uh, particular section is inside its own dev. So this is the and for all of them this is common class called home section. Uh, that I have added in the code So the first one I have also added a co uh, CSS class called page content So the second one is the widget area. That's why we have got the additional CSS class called widget area and This is the home featured widget area. So I've got that particular CSS class here 
and then for the rows that are coming from the advanced custom fields pro uh, you can see that uh, for each of them I've got a class called row and for the text row I've got the CSS uh, we are adding the CSS class text and for the image sections we are adding the image CSS class so this just keeps uh, things nicer to look at and also for easier styling all right so in the next video i'm going to show how the code uh, is set up in the backend and how it works